1949, December 2nd, 1943. Today is the 77th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack. To honor the victims of that tragic day, Sacramento area United States submarine veterans held a memorial and wreath laying ceremony at Discovery Park. This is the 31st year of the event. A near record number of salmon are returning to the McCollany River for a second year in a row. CBS 13's Linda Muma shows us what's contributing to the sudden surge in salmon and how those efforts are helping other rivers in the Central Valley's sprawling system. Normally about 9,500 Chinook salmon make it up the McCollany River to spawn, but last year about 20,000 of the fish made it upstream, the highest number on record since 1940, and the numbers are expected to get close to that again this year. As soon as the gates open at the McCollany River fish hatchery near Clemens, oh my goodness, dozens of Chinook salmon throw themselves at the rushing water to reach their final destination to spawn. Most of our adult fish are, are three and four year olds that come back to here. That turnaround of them leaving the facility, going out to the ocean, maybe up to Alaska, coming back down here. Then finding our river by the smell of the water, they're phenomenal. The facility, built by the East Bay Municipal Utility District and co-managed by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. So these eggs are probably about three weeks old. Is once again on pace to reach or exceed last year's record run for Chinook and Steelhead. And that's another species that a lot of folks don't know about here in the McCallany. A major accomplishment given how dismal returns have been over the last three years on many California waterways like the Sacramento River, which last year saw its lowest numbers in nearly a decade. A lot of the reason why we're getting a lot more returns back these years is just the change in our release strategies. Strategies such as cold water releases from the reservoirs. These are the salmon fry. Better management of hatchery fish. Until it doesn't have an adipose fin, so that makes it a hatchery fish. And habitat improvements in the river. We added a bunch of gravel out just right here on this reach just to make more uh, rearing habitat for the juvenile salmon. Measures that are not only boosting fish populations on the McCollany. And also we're contributing to other parts of California. But are making fishermen happy all over the state. For instance, in the uh, fisheries off the coast of California, 20% of the commercial harvest and 35% of the recreational harvest were McCollany River fish. The spawning season isn't over just yet. There's still a couple of weeks left. The final numbers are expected in January.